All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you some settings that you can change in order to try to curb any type of input lag you may be experiencing with your controller. So the first thing I will say is if it's really, really bad, you should try, instead of using Bluetooth, use your controller when it's just plugged in with a cable to your computer. Even just a ridiculously long cable up into a certain length will work better than Bluetooth. There is a length of cable that it won't work at all because it's too long, but for the most part, USB is pretty straightforward. The other things that you can change is when you've got DS4 Windows open and you've got your controller right here, you can click on Edit, and inside of your Settings profile, you can go over to Other, and there's a couple of tweaks that you can make at the bottom of this panel that'll make it so that this will work a little bit better with a little less latency. So the first thing is you can set your max polling rate to one millisecond, the maximum amount of time it can ping over and over and over again to your computer. It will reduce your battery life slightly, but not by a lot. And then the other thing you can do is you can Disable this option here, enable output data to DS4. This will also keep your controller from sending um, information like your battery info about the battery charge level to DS4 Windows, which will also reduce the amount of data going back and forth to just the amount of information needed for knowing how the controls are going on your controller. And then with those three things, you should be able to just hit save, and then that'll help to reduce a lot of your latency. Um, again, you don't even have to tweak those two settings if you just plug it in. But those three things are the top things that you can do in order to reduce the latency when using your controller wirelessly through DS4 Windows to play games on your PC. There's a couple other things that might make your life a little easier. Um, your Bluetooth antenna, wherever it is on your computer, it helps if it's unobstructed. So if it's if you've got like a long antenna that's got a long cable on it, and it's still wound up on the back side of your computer, unwind it and put it closer to the front where it has direct line of sight to your controller. Little things like that make it so that your controller has the least amount of latency possible. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.